And so here we have it, the camp spot, situated beautifully at the edge of the forest line. Looking down there you can see the river, and looking up there the hill. Lovely kind of view to be looking out at today. It's pretty sparse around here. Trees seem to be all stripped of their branches, the only reason I can think of is the wind. But I'm going to find a spot which gets good light. Um, hunker down, make a fire, and then gather some pieces of wood um, and put them, get them slightly organised so I can start making shelter. So uh, yeah, just to demonstrate how rotten the wood is around here, there's, I've just seen a tree behind me which is uh, rotten all around the bottom, bark's peeling off, um, looks like it could go with a push. So. When you're making a camp like this, you've got to be aware of these things, that there might be stuff above you or around you which you fall onto during the night and really do some damage. So you're going to go around, take this tree out, uh, find other trees that look a bit shaky and just get them out of the way so that I can have that peace of mind that nothing's going to fall in the heat today. So watch this. He must be about 30 feet tall. So it's not going all the way down, but I've pushed it down far enough that I'm confident it's not going to blow back or blow this direction. Um, these ones seem a bit more solid than I'm hoping they are because I'm going to build a shelter between them. Not sure how well you can see, but I'm going to swing the beam across these two trees. And that'll give me space to stick some beams at the back, make a bit of a roof, probably fill in the walls on either side. and. Uh, if I have time I might do a bit of an overhang just so that the rain runs off. This uh, spot to the left here is where I'm going to have my fire and also if I have time I might be able to build a bit of a fire deflector. It can be as simple as just a few logs piled on top of each other to reflect the heat back into the, towards the shelter. So um, for now I'm going to gather a nice firm cross beam for this bit, some wood to put on top and uh, there's plenty of moss and material that will be perfect for filling in the gaps and keeping the wind out. So yeah, on to the job. Quick run around the shelter so far. As you can see, it's taken shape. Uh, I've got the supporting beam across the top. I've got plenty of uh, roof beams lying back across the other side. And you can see that I've erected some posts at the sides too. So the plan is to keep making some cross beams, adding more branches, and then filling in the gaps with some of this lovely uh, moss that's dotted around. And uh, battery in the camera is pretty low so I'll probably just show you the finished product before I leave. Um, any questions about the building process itself then please feel free to comment underneath the video. So the roof is fairly taking shape now you can see I've got loads of cross branches across it. It's only a couple of inches between each one and I'm now going to lay the moss on top. So as you can see the roof is now on. There's about half a foot of moss on that. In terms of a temporary shelter that's pretty good. I'll keep the rain off or most of it anyway and I suppose if it's particularly windy and gusty and you want just some extra protection I could even um, even set up my tent inside it that's what it's like from the inside and there's a the fire so this is it then the finished article my little fire here and there's the lean-to shelter I filled in the roof with about half a foot of uh, moss. That should keep most of the rain off, uh, or at least slow it down. <laughs> so if you're just camping up for a night or something, this is the perfect kind of shelter. Um, I will take a bit of time to fill in the sides there and uh, do 
give it the same moss treatment. But uh, yeah, pretty much done here. As you can see, there's plenty of space to lie down inside. Um, it's not far from the fire, but a safe enough distance that I won't get sparks. And oh, if I sit down in here, you'll see the roof is quite compacted. No chinks of light showing through. Maybe a few bits of moss hanging down. And it's a lovely view out the front door. There's the fire dying down and you can see the river down there about 50 foot below me and the valley heading up there. So yeah, um, unfortunately I have to head back to Newcastle tonight but um, I should be able to return here quite soon. Plan is to do a bit of a wild camp, uh, maybe just take a sleeping bag and a bivvy, bivvy bag to go around it and um, sleep out in the shelter. It's summer, it's warm, it should be awesome. Hopefully I can get a fire going next time as well and the middies will keep away. So disappointed that I didn't get out last night and uh, get camping properly but it's been really fun today making the shelter and uh, I look forward to coming out again very soon. So yeah, tune in for the next episode, wild camp here in the same spot, um, maybe do a few more mods to the shelter, maybe put a, a fire deflector just behind the fire there so it kind of deflects the heat back towards the shelter. That'll be the next episode. Thanks for watching guys and uh, please do like, subscribe, comment with any questions and tips. Um, look forward to chilling with you next time. Bye now.